In question 3, we have to find the following squares by using the appropriate identities. So let's start with the first part. In the first part, we have to calculate the square of b minus 7. So we have to calculate b minus 7 whole square. Now this is of the form a minus b whole square. So let's expand it using the appropriate identity. So we can write this as b square minus 2 into b into 7 plus 7 square. So this is how we can expand this. So we get b square then minus 2 into b into 7 minus 2 into 7 is minus 14. So we get minus 14 b and then 7 square is 49. So we get plus 49. So this expression b square minus 14 b plus 49. This is the answer for part 1. Now we go to part 2. In part 2 we have to calculate x y plus 3 z whole square. So this is of the form a plus b whole square which can be expanded as a square plus 2 ab plus b square. So we expand this as x y whole square plus 2 into x y into 3 z and then we have 3 z whole square. So this is how we can expand this second square and this will be equal to x square y square. Then we have 2 into x y into 3 z. So 2 into 3 is 6. So we will get 6 x y z as the second term 6 x y z. And then we have 3 z whole square which will become 9 z square. So this expression x square y square plus 6 x y z plus 9 z square. This is the answer in the second part. Now we come to part 3. In part 3 we have to expand 6x square minus 5y whole square. So this is of the form a minus b whole square where a is 6x square and b is uh, 5y and we can expand a minus b whole square as a square minus 2ab plus b square. So let's expand this accordingly. So we write 6x square whole square minus 2ab so minus 2 into 6x square into 5y and then we have plus b square or plus 5y whole square okay so 6x square whole square will be 36 and x square square is x to the power 4 so the first term we get is 36 x to the power 4 then we have minus 2 into 6 into 5 that's minus 60 and we have x square into y. So the second term will be uh, minus 60 x square y. And finally we have the last term, the third term, 5 y whole square which will be 25 y square. So this expression 36 x to the power 4 minus 60 x square y plus 25 y square. This is the answer for part 3. Next we come to part 4 in which we have to find the square of 2 by 3 m plus 3 by 2 n. So we have to find the square of this expression. So this is of the form a plus b whole square which we can expand as a square plus 2 ab plus b square. And a is this term 2 by 3 m and b is this term 3 by 2 n. So let's expand this accordingly. So we will get a square or 2 by 3 m whole square plus 2ab so 2 into 2 by 3m into 3 by 2n and then we have plus b square so 3 by 2n whole square all right now 2 by 3m whole square will be 4 by 9m square then we have 2 into 2 by 3m into 3 by 2n so this 2 and this 2 cancel out this 3 and this 3 cancel out so we are left with 2 into m into n okay so the second term we get is 2 m n and then the last term 3 by 2 n whole square can be written as 9 by 4 n square so this expression 4 by 9 m square plus 2 m n plus 9 by 4 n square this is the answer for part 4 next we come to part 5 in which we have to calculate 0 0.4 p minus 0 0.5 q whole square so this is of the form a minus b whole square where a is 0.4p and b is 0.5q 
and a minus b whole square can be expanded as a square minus 2ab plus b square. So let's expand this accordingly. So a square will be 0.4p whole square. Then we have minus 2ab, so minus 2 into 0.4p into 0.5q and then we have plus b square or plus 0.5q whole square. Now 0.4p whole square will be 0.16p square. Okay, make sure you understand this. The square of 0 0.4 is 0 0.16. So we get 0 0.16p square. Then we have minus 2 into 0.4p into 0.5q. So if you take the product minus 2 into 0.4 into 0.5, you will get minus 0.4. So the second term will be minus 0.4p Q because you have the variables P and Q. And finally, the last term, the third term will be 0.5 Q whole square, which is 0.25 Q square because the square of 0.5 is 0.25. So this expression that you get 0.16 P square minus 0.4 P Q plus 0.25 Q square. This is the answer in part five. Finally, we come to part 6 in which we have to calculate 2xy plus 5y whole square. So this expression is of the form a plus b whole square where a is 2xy and b is 5y. And we can expand a plus b whole square as a square plus 2ab plus b square. So let's expand this. So we get 2xy whole square plus 2ab. So 2 into 2xy into 5y plus b square so plus 5y whole square okay now 2xy whole square will be 4x square y square so each term in the product gets squared so we get 4x square y square then we have 2 into 2xy into 5y so 2 into 2 into 5 is 20 and then we have two repetitions of um, two repetitions of y and one repetition of x. So we will get x, y square as the variable part. So the second term we will get is 20 x, y square. And then the third term, the last term will be 5 y whole square, which is 25 y square. So this expression 4 x square y square plus 20 x, y square plus 25 y square. This is the answer in part six. And with this, we have completed question number three. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.